So seeing as Marvel Studios has their films planned out to 2020 and beyond, it seems kinda suspicious to me that we haven't gotten a confirmation of the title to the follow-up of Infinity War, that being Avengers 4. So today I thought I'd talk about what I think is gonna happen here, and what I would do to make this as good as possible. And just up front, spoiler warning for the MCU so far, and potential spoilers for this, although this could be completely wrong. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, like a lot of people, I believe Avengers 4 is going to be titled Secret Invasion. Let's just quickly go over what that is first. Basically, to the best of my understanding, the short version is, these aliens called the Skrulls come to Earth. The Skrulls' main feature is that they can shapeshift and assume anyone's identity. And then they infiltrate the Marvel Universe and impersonate Avengers and whatnot. Then the Avengers turn on each other out of Skrull paranoia and conflict ensues. Now, there are a few reasons I think this would happen. The main one being, it was recently-ish revealed that the Skrulls will be the antagonists in Captain Marvel. This movie will be happening right before Avengers 4, so it would make sense that, what with this being a connected universe, they would carry over. Plus, after the universe has been building to Thanos for 10 years, when that's over, this world really needs to go into a different direction if it wants to keep going and stay fresh, and I think this would do that really well. Plus, Captain Marvel is set in the 90s, and so it could do a great job of setting up some older Marvel characters as being around when the Skrulls arrive, adding more mystery to who is actually a Skrull in the present day. Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's talk who in the MCU could be a Skrull. And remember, they don't have to have been a Skrull always, but just at some point in these movies, or even in this very film. Anyway, first off, Mr. Sunday Movies suggested General Ross. I would bet a fair amount of money on that one. One, he's always been a bit of a prick to the Avengers, since, like, forever, including a fair bit of hypocrisy on his side. And two, it would explain his kind of weird appearance in Civil War. Like, considering Marvel's trying to get everyone to forget that the Incredible Hulk ever happened in the first place, it's strange that they'd bring him back. So yeah, I'm gonna say he's almost definitely a scroll. Hawkeye, he could be a scroll since he's maybe the least popular Avenger, although I actually have started to like him quite a bit in recent films. Maybe, and they won't do this, but maybe, they could say that in Thor and the Avengers, where to me at least he's been the most useless and pointless, there he was a scroll. And then between Avengers and Avengers 2, he just stopped being a scroll. A scroll left, or something, I don't know. But then again, Loki mind controlled him in the Avengers, and so he probably would have seen that there was some difference between him and the other humans. Look, you're getting paid to write this, not me. Speaking of which, Loki could be a scroll. Now, obviously not for all the time he's been in the MCU, but maybe from the end of Thor the Dark World, or the start of Ragnarok, or even the start of Avengers 3. He's also sneaky and not who he seems to be, so it makes sense. Others who could be... Uh, maybe Rhodey? I don't know, I think they'd probably go with characters who haven't had, like, major character arcs, because that would kind of cheapen those other movies. So Rhodey, he's likable, but there's nothing really major emotionally that'd be lost there. So people like that, I suppose. Maria Hill, potentially? I always imagine that one of the main Avengers will die, and then it will be revealed that they were actually a scroll. Not for all time or whatever, but just for the duration of that film. Marvel loves their death fakeouts, so this seems like another perfect chance. Although, I do feel like someone really has to die in these two films. Like, Marvel's had way too many kind of side characters die or non-deaths happen, so I think we kind of really need to see a central character go at this point. Now, the only thing that points me in the direction of this not being Secret Invasion is that it doesn't really connect to Infinity War. Not in an obvious way, anyway. The Russo brothers have said, Avengers 4 is not a part 2 to Infinity War, but it does tie in directly to that. So, how can you link these two together? I don't really know. Although again, I suppose after this massive threat from space, it makes sense to take the Avengers back to Earth, and have them fighting a more complicated threat than just a giant titan who can destroy planets. That's more or less all I have to say. I'm sure I'll make more videos on this once more information comes out, and who knows, I could be totally wrong about this, and this could end up being a completely different film. So those are my thoughts on Avengers 4. What do you think will happen here? Let me know all of your thoughts down below in the comments. While you're at it, be sure to like this video, check out my Instagram and Twitter at BHL underscore Hudson, check out this podcast about movies and TV and whatnot I do every other week with a friend of mine. It's called the Poorly Planned Podcast. And subscribe for more videos like the one you just watched. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.